All right, guys, so the full roster, or what I think is the full roster, at least the wording isn't very clear, for Topspin 2K25 has been released today. We've got the women's roster, the men's roster, and the legends roster as well. Um, I think it totals something like 25 players, something like that, 24, 25 uh, players, and people are pretty upset about, uh, about it. To be honest, the main thing is that Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal are not in the game. And that is a big deal breaker for some people, of course. Um, but I think the reason for that is because they don't want to be. And, and that's like, there's nothing 2K can do about that, unfortunately. I think Novak is not very into the whole video game sphere. So I think Novak said no is, is something that I've heard at least. And I don't know if Nadal said no as well, or if he has a contract from AO Tennis, because he was in that game, I believe. I don't know if he has a, maybe a contract, uh, an exclusivity contract from that or something. But um, yeah, I don't think it, it was obviously 2K's decision. Uh, they, they would definitely have Nadal and Djokovic in there if, um, if they they were willing to do that but we're gonna go through the roster today and kind of just go over everyone that's in the game um i think it's a decent starting point obviously the two two of the big three not being in the game is a big blow but i think in general it's a decent starting point if they're planning on adding to the roster and increasing uh it as we go along because i think pga tour 2k23 had a lot less pros on launch than this did and they eventually added more and more and more and they even added like content creators that you could play as in the in the game but overall um i'm interested to see people's thoughts on this i know a lot of people are going to be disappointed but let's have a look here anyway and kind of just go we'll start with the women's roster so we've got a little bit of a picture here to show you guys we have the women's roster um with a picture of coco goff who is obviously going to be in it also belinda bencic caroline wozniaki uh coco goff who i just mentioned emma radicanu iga Swiatek, um carolina Carolina, Carolina, Carolina Pliskova, Leila Fernandez, Madison Keys, Naomi Osaka, Paulo, uh, pa Paulo? Paula Pedosa, uh, Sloan Stevens. Sorry if I'm butchering some of these names, um, but uh, that that is the full list of women's roster, not including the legends, because I saw some people getting confused when they tweeted this out that Serena wasn't on the women's roster here, and that's because she's included as a, as a legend, of course. So I do think that the women's roster is probably the most impressive part about this. They have 11 um, women, not including the legends, and that is a fairly reasonable number. Number, I think definitely I think where people are most upset is the men's roster which we'll get to in a little bit but first off the rip that's the women's roster in its entirety 11 people for now whether it'll be added to or there'll be more announcements before launch I'm not exactly sure now we'll have a look here at the legends roster so the legends roster is Andre Agassi uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Like, I got butchered. I got butchered in the comments for my pronunciation of that one. Um, John McEnroe, uh, Maria Sharapova, Pete Sampras, Roger Federer, Serena Williams, and Steffi Graf, which I also pronounce that as uh, Steffi Graffy. Or, I think I called her Steffi Graffy or Steph Graffy or something <laughs> in my last video. Like, uh, I got a, I got an earful on that, and I, I appreciate that. Thanks, guys, for letting me know. <laughs> but anyway, that's uh, Seven Legends. Um... Yeah, some good names here on the legend side of things. As I said, I'm not like as into tennis as I am into golf. Like I've been into golf all my life. I've more recently, I've always had like a casual interest in tennis and known about like Novak and Federer and Andy Murray and all these people. And I, I've known about them and I've watched like a few of the big, big matches, but I wouldn't be keeping up to date with all of the tennis news um, throughout my life or anything like that, like I would with golf or, uh, or footy. But uh, that does seem like a decent Legends roster there. Let me know if there's anyone uh, missing from here that you would have liked to see. But we know John McEnroe. Um, I know about him. But maybe Bjorn Borg could have been in here, actually. Speak of the devil, eh? Speak of the devil. Maybe Bjorn Borg could have been in here. But um, yeah, I think John McEnroe, uh, I've always liked what I've seen of him. Just absolute uh, rage on the courts and stuff like that. And now we're going to get to the men's roster. This is what's caused the most consternation, I feel like. Um, there's only seven males um, in the roster in totality, which is a, 
a little bit disappointing. Medvedev looks really good, though. I'll say that much. Daniil Medvedev is one of my favorite tennis players. Um, I just really like his uh, his demeanor and his attitude. I think he's uh, he's so fun to watch. He's so fun to watch it like unfold on the tennis court. You never know what you're gonna get. So um, Daniil Medvedev is in there. Andy Murray is in there, which is really cool to see. Ben Shelton's in there. Carlos Alcaraz, as we know, we know a lot of these people from when I played the preview build, of course. But this is kind of more um, a full roster now that we have here. So we have Francis, Tiafo, uh, Matti Matteo, rather, Berrettini, and Taylor Fritz. So, yeah, I mean, the likes of Novak, Rafa, Zverev, um, Tsitsipas. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I know. Like, he's uh, Rublev, even. Um, like, there's a lot of tennis players, male tennis players, I can think right off the top of my head that aren't involved. Um, and and I, as I said, I'm not, like, one of the biggest tennis fans ever. I'm not, like, super into it. I'm really excited about the game because I just... I love uh, th these tennis games. Like, I even really enjoy playing AO Tennis too, but I think this is going to be, like, the ultimate elite tennis game just because topspin always has been i used to love topspin um back in the day um so that's why i'm so excited about it and this is the full roster so if we think think about it here so there's seven here that's 18 including the women and then we add seven again so yeah there's 25 players in total i don't think like i don't think the number of players in the game is too bad i feel like maybe there should be more male pros um definitely um and and the fact obviously as i mentioned before that novak and and rafa aren't in the game is a big blow but not a lot you can do about it if they don't want to be a part of it i mean you just gotta you gotta deal with the facts man if you don't want to play it because of that okay but um it's not like it's 2k's choice you think 2k went yeah nah we don't want Rafa. We don't want no. We don't want Novak. That's that's just not going to be the case, you know. Um, but I wonder how many of these other people maybe that will be getting post-launch. Could we get like a, a Zverev or a Tsitsipas post post-launch potentially? Yes. Like, let me look up the the world rankings of the of the men's pros here. Of course, one I forgot to mention was um, was Sinner. Sinner and Kasper Ruud, my Norwegian brethren. Um, Holger Rune isn't in there. Um, Kyrgios isn't in there as well. I know Kyrgios isn't really near the top anymore at the moment, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, of big name male pros that aren't in there. I think the women, they did a good job with the women's, as I said. Like, I'll have a look at the women's rankings here. I think Sabalenka would probably be the biggest omission from the women's side of things, but I think they did a good job with them. Um, with kind of a mixture of young players and top players for the women's roster. You know, um, Caroline Wozniacki, Rory's uh, ex-wife, or I guess not ex-wife because they never got married, but Rory McIlroy. Um, anyway, yeah, that's kind of all I really wanted to talk about in this video. I'd love to get your guys' opinion on the roster overall. And are you still excited for this game? Has this changed your hype level for the game? I'm really intrigued on that. If, like, the roster is that important for you guys to actually, like um be upset about it if if they're not in the game like uh, doing the career mode without having some of the best players there like you won't be able to face off against them in the majors and stuff is that a real kind of bummer for you guys let me know uh, i'm interested um april 27th the game comes out april 26th actually i think in april 23rd early access so um just about a month away now until top spin 2k25 comes out and uh, I'm excited to see as well if they have post-launch plans for actual players to add them into the game post-launch and uh, maybe get some of these big-name players in there after. Um, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Sorry if, if I've been repeating myself towards the end here. But I really appreciate you tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. A um, bit of a short video today, but we really only had the roster to go over. So that's that. See you next time. Keep the flag flying. Peace out.